Hello there, greetings in the name of the Lord. This is Sule Emmanuel. Welcome to Jesus Every Day. Light for your daily path. This is episode 518. And our topic today is the danger of prayerlessness. This is part nine, the danger of prayerlessness. And our Bible reference is taken from God's word in Psalms 66, verse 18. Psalm 66, verse 18. Friends, there are certain weaknesses of the flesh that cannot be sustained as you keep yourself under the consistent spiritual heat of prayer. There are limitations of our flesh that have the capacity to derail, distract, and diminish us. However, as we maintain consistency in our prayer life, these things are shaking off our lives. While many may justify something like unforgiveness, a praying person cannot accommodate unforgiveness. Listen, friends, it is not possible to pray effectively when you harbor bitterness in your heart. No true intercessor can sustain bitterness and unforgiveness in their hearts. As a praying person, the Holy Spirit will not allow you to imprison someone in your heart. Friends, if you can hold bitterness against anyone, you may not have been effective in prayer. You may think you've been praying but you've not been effective because the Holy Spirit will not allow you to imprison anyone in your heart. So here is one testimony, here is one impact of effective prayer. The Holy Spirit continues to purge us of anything that is not consistent with God's character. So one of the most noticeable manifestations of ineffectiveness in prayer and prayerlessness is the growth of bitterness and unforgiveness within our heart. Indeed, it pays to pray. Here is our task for today. Ask the Holy Spirit to open your eyes to every door that is opened for the enemy in your life. Ask the Holy Spirit to open your eyes to every door that is opened for the enemy in your life. Please pay close attention to the wisdom push for today. Today's declaration and our daily Bible reading, the day meditation and the night meditation. I pray God's blessings upon your day. I pray that you come into the fulfillment of divine promises. I pray that God blesses you and the works of your hands in the name of of Jesus Christ. Lord bless you richly. Have a great day, Father, in Jesus' precious name.